And welcome to FSB TV, I'm Colleen G. Lee and coming up I'm going to demonstrate how to use a pin tuck foot. This is what a pin tuck foot looks like. It's short in comparison to your regular feet and it has small tucks to the front of it. Now if I just turn it to the underside you can see there are deep grooves and this is what creates the tucks. Now you can get feet that are three to five grooves which are for heavyweight fabric. I've got a seven groove and there's also a nine groove which is for lighter fabric. What you're going to need to create these uh, pin tucks and they are structured pin tucks and I'll explain a little bit about that later on. Obviously you're going to need your pin tuck. You've got a special cover here um, enables you to thread the cord into which is the bobbin cover and you're going to need twin needles and you're going to need cording. Here I've got an example of pin tucks using the cord and these pin tucks are rather structured pin tucks so they're quite stiff in comparison to regular pin tucks let's say. So what happens is in order to create them and as you can see there's spacing in between is that you place your foot along the spacing that you want so therefore my pin tucks will be created here with the twin needles and I'm using that as a guide for the next set of pin tucks that I want to create. So whatever width you want is going to be personal, personal for to your project. If I put it on this one here, you can see I've created pin tucks here, which are where your twin needle will be, and then I've come in just a little bit so they are closer. So that's what these grooves are used for as, reg as guides. Think of them as guides more than anything now, else. Now the bobbin cover should come with your pin tuck foot and all it does is it enables you to um, hold the cording into place but it is possible to do pin tucks without this so if you don't have this don't be too bothered about it. So what you do is you thread the cord into the front of the bobbin cover and there's a little tuck there in which to guide it through and then place it into position. It's as simple as that. And then I'm going to bring the cord behind the foot, so there's a tail with, along with my tails of my thread. And then you get your work. And I've put a little line there just to help guide me to make sure I'm doing straight pin tucks. It's not essential, but it does help. Put it onto my feet, lower my foot, and then make sure my needle are down. And then start sewing. So your cord is sitting in the middle here and then the twin needles are going to stitch more or less on either side but obviously it's going to be caught by one needle because that's what you want to, to hold it in place. You can see the needles are stitching on either side of the cording and it really is just that simple. Your pin tuck. Now this is a structured pin tuck. Think of it in those terms because it is quite rigid in comparison to regular pin tucks because of the cording. So this is going to be a great example if that is what you want for a project to use the cording along with the cording for. So you can have a look at what it looks like underneath. You can see how the cord is being caught by the stitching and that is a beautiful example of a pin tuck. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button. If you want to look at some of my other video tutorials, click the links below and I will see you next time.